important. I mean, is Wafula Chibukati self defeating himself, shooting himself in the leg? When he accuses Chiloba now because of the procurement mm -hmm. process, yet he filed court affidavits in 2017, defending the same procurement process, saying that they were in line with the law, they were in line with the constitution, and now comes out chest thumping that only Chiloba was individually responsible for the co for the procurement process. Yet it is the commission when the secretariat, mm -hmm. I mean, comes up with a plan of the procurement process, mm -hmm. it is the commission mm -hmm. which is chaired by Chebukati mm -hmm. that approves the same that was done by the secretariat. I mean, how do we wage? How do you address this? mismatch because Chabukati himself is hypocritical and is not telling Kenyans the truth. The only way to address this issue is the DCI investigating and coming up and giving us the culprits. You know, right now, I, you, myself and Dan, we cannot go and arrest Chabukati. We mm -hmm. cannot. But do we want results? Yes. Then it is the DCI. The people who can also help us is our parliamentarians. Let them quicken this report okay. and recommendations will, will be to the effect that let this investigation be pushed. So in terms of good results, it's only the DCI who can help us. And mm -hmm. we've seen good energy. DCI, okay. ODPP, and uh, NINI, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, the, the AC, mm -hmm. ESCC. Okay. And you see, it will be good if they can do the investigation. And if it's Chiloba, who is Chiloba and the past commission, the commissioners who have resigned, and you know Chebukati, if they are the culprits, let them be taken to court, let mm -hmm. them be arrested. But of course, we see some smoke here. Mm. You see, like number two, I wanted to say that uh, Take, for instance, they are talking about 4.3 million on match sticks. Match sticks, 2 million. So, um, 2 million. Oh, 2 million. Uh, 2 million, yeah. 2 million. 4.3 right? on marker pens. Okay. Now, for instance, I don't know how much, these days, I don't know how many, how much uh, one match goes for. I think, let's put it at approximately 10 shillings, yeah? A box? A box. No, 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 no that's, box, because, that's small. The packet. Just one. Yeah. I, I think it's not 10 shillings. It's five. Maybe three, three to five. Oh, average of five. Okay, let's put it at uh, five. Yeah? Okay. Now we'll be talking about. Um, a, we'll be talking about. If we put it at uh, five, we'll be talking about. Uh, no, if you put it at ten, you talk about. You're talking about two hundred thousand match boxes. M match boxes. You can imagine if you put it just at ten. That's just uh, we approximate. And so one and one contains more than. Uh, f let's say two. fifty match sticks. Yeah. Mm. So we're talking about two hundred thousand. Matchboxes. Matchboxes. So you, maybe, we, I, mean, I don't know how many, how many stations we had. <laughs> <laughs> polling stations. We had 38,000 <laughs> polling 38, stations. 38,000. Yeah. So I don't know <laughs> if they needed now, you know. <laughs> uh, maybe at most they needed maybe 100,000. I don't know. But uh, for sure, <clears> there's smoke there. But let me tell Kenyans that there is no need of uh, a lot of excitement without concrete results. Okay. And the only person or the only institutions that can give us concrete mm -hmm. results is the DCI, okay. ESCC, and ODPP. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dan Onogo, I'll come to you. Uh, clearly, this is a commission that was infiltrated by the political forces in 2017. It came to the office barely seven months before the general elections, because afterwards the formation of the uh, Kiraitu Murungi, Senator James Orengo, uh, that is committee afterwards the disbandment of the, of, of the former commission under Isaac Hassan following the mass demonstrations by the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy Court. But looking at the events of 2017 and 2018, Isofula Chebukati uh, handing himself a poison chalice in, I mean, uh, welcoming the DCI and the ODPP here because he's the same chairperson who has presided over, over refereed an election that was, according to the Supreme Court, uh, marred by irregularities and illegalities. And does he have the moral authority to stand in front of Kenyans and to accuse Chiloba, whom they were in the same boat, and now wants him to be solely uh, prosecuted for the procurement process, yet he was the chairperson of the commission that approved the same procurement process in the country? You remember there's a time when, uh, you know, Chebukati actually stood in the front of the nation and said, you know, um, he is not able to deliver a credible, a, a poll. credible poll. That ought to have been the time that Chebukati could have resigned. Okay. But well said the way you've said, he couldn't because mm -hmm. uh, he's promoting, there's a hand on, on what he was doing by that time. And the pressure for him to deliver... Uh, the election, he couldn't, as a persona of, of Chebukati, you know, he reflected and saw the commissioners resigning and all these things that were going on in, the, in IBC, and he was willing to let Kenyans have a credible election. Okay. But you see, um, <coughs> Bon is saying that we should not be excited about these figures. Okay. But I want to tell you that this is coming from an audit. Uh, you know, these are figures that are coming from an audit from the Office of the Auditor General. And this is what informs a parliamentary 
uh, hearing, a parliamentary uh, committee hearings to probe okay. if these are coming. And you could see, I could see the... Uh, the assistant, that should be the assistant, uh, CEO, somebody. Hussein Marjan Hussein, you know, acting. You know, he's, he's actually so bold and asking, you see, and he presented figures. the report <laughs> without the attaching of these <coughs> invoices and these receipts. Okay. And you see, there is a reason, like Bono said, there's a smoke somewhere that Kenyans really now need to stand up and really uh, question the performance of this commission. Because if this is left unchecked, mm -hmm. And pending the, the hearing that is, the two individuals are coming, Kenyans are yet to see really the epitome of corruption in this independent commission. Okay. But you see, uh, one of the things that you asked is inviting the DCA in his office. I think Tepukati is trying to play with fire. Okay. Because you see, the buck stopped with him. If there are allegations about misappropriation of funds within the ethics and corruption, mm. this was happening <coughs> in his watch. Okay. And he's actually the first person that the DCA should actually be investigating mm -hmm. and should hold accountable as so far as these matters are concerned. Okay.